Perfect. So again, uh, my name is Mariana Hernandez. I'm the Assistant Program Manager of Workforce Development at LAEDC. Our team is composed of three team members, Jermaine Hampton being our director. And uh, I'll go ahead and pass it on to my colleague, Jose, who's on the line to introduce himself. Yeah, thank you, Mariana. Welcome everyone. Uh, today, you will have great information regarding the bioscience industry. Uh, so please feel free to put in the chat what college you're representing. And if you have any questions, we'll also address them towards the end. But thank you so much for attending. Thank you, Jose. So uh, these webinars are brought to you in partnership with the Los Angeles Regional Consortium and our guest speakers. Um, today, it happens to be Janae Franklin from Bioscience LA. Uh, a little bit more about our initiative and how we bring about these webinars. Um, this is again through the uh, LARC initiative, which is composed of the LA 19 community colleges. And um, through this initiative, we try and build um, industry and education partnerships uh, to strengthen our region's talent development ecosystem. And how we do this is through data-driven research, uh, industry councils, regional program advisories, work-based learning opportunities and employment opportunities, and through a workforce and education partner portal, which can be found at competitiveworkforce.la. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started with Janae's portion. Just one second and we'll bring up her slides. Janae, uh, I'll go ahead and kick it over to you. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for having me. Um, my name is Janae Franklin. I am the student program lead for Bioscience LA. I am actually calling in because I am uh, in transit to Cal State Dominguez um, for a career center um, job fair. So my apologies for not being in person, but I have the presentation in front of me um, and Mariana is going to um, control the slides. Um, and let's go ahead and go to um, the second slide. So a little bit about myself. Um, like I said, I am the uh, student program lead from Bioscience LA. Um, I am a proud transfer student and graduate of Santa Monica College. Um, and I also um, am a proud student and graduate of California State University of Northridge. And then I just recently finished up my master's um, in uh, entrepreneurship and sustainable innovation uh, at LMU. So I'm very, very familiar um, with the track of, you know, undergrad and um, college education within the LA system. Um, my, I've had three internships in general. Um, my background actually is not in life sciences. My background is business account management, sales, digital marketing, public relations, event coordination, uh, nonprofits, uh, programming and career development. And companies I've worked for in the past, Pfizer, Nordstrom, uh, LAUSD, Beyond the Bell, A World for, for Kids, Apple, uh, patient pop, and then I have interest in business, startup, history, art, food, self-care, mental health, science, and also fun fact about myself, I am a co-owner of a clean beauty brand since 2020 with over, uh, and I didn't finish my thought, with over 100 plus items um, sold. So for today's agenda, going to the next slide, um, we're going to just do an overview of who Bioscience LA is, why we have this program, the Biofutures Internship Program, the benefits of the program, the requirements and eligibility, um, as well as our new pro latest program and part of the program that we're starting, which is the Biofutures Alumni um, Program, and then next steps, and then we'll leave some time for question and answers. Again, I apologize that I'm not able to see you guys right now, um, but uh, the team is going to let me know if you guys have questions. Um, I also will, you guys have my contact, my email on there, so Feel free to shoot me an email um, if you know you have a question and maybe you weren't able to answer or get it answered um, during this presentation. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So Bioscience LA um, is an independent not for nonprofit um, that was founded in 2018. We uh, want to be the catalyst for life sciences and health innovation in the LA region. When we say LA region, I like to just point this out. It means anything in between San Diego and Silicon Valley. Um, so that's a large area, and we're here to help grow that by accelerating funding, 
um, the space, and then also helping with the talent um, within life sciences and health innovation in the LA region. Uh, the little dots that you see below, that are just, those are just other things that we also kind of encompass with within Bioscience LA, um, as well as the bottom uh, logos are gonna be our founding partners. Can we go to the next slide? So when we're looking at life sciences, I love to show this slide to students because I want you guys to all realize that there are so many sectors within this industry um, and I, I'm not even like naming all of them in this slide. Um, there's also FemTech um, that is very popular. Um, and what I, what I like to do is I like you guys to just see these things because when we um, sometimes get into our tracks of going to school and our education and career, we sometimes don't think about all the possibilities um, are, that, are, that are available within one industry. Um, and so I like to show this again also because we're in LA. LA has an entrepreneurial spirit naturally. And so we already have our Silicon Beach, which is our tech, um, you know, tech space. And that tech space is also being mixed in with life sciences and health innovation, which is making a really cool opportunity for US students um, that are, you know, for our future, um, you know, employment, employers, employees. Um, and I just want to get you guys excited about all the options and possibilities within this uh, industry. Next slide, please. So when we also talk about the possibility, we also have to talk about kind of the pain point. Um, and ideally and realistically, when we're looking at bioscience and biotech and medtech, STEM, um, you know, related jobs and careers, not the easiest for those of us of color, and it's not the easiest for women. Um, and that's still a factor that's, that's not something, you know, that we want to gloss over and pretend that it doesn't exist. We know that it exists. And then also, too, just with my own research, I realized that, you know, when you're in STEM and when you're in certain programs, it's really helpful for you to gain that experience within internships and, and different volunteer opportunities. And unfortunately, not every school um, or not every student is, is, is given that opportunity. Um, and when you look at the, the blue bubbles, um, a lot of those obstacles can be lack of confidence. Um, you know, a lot of the times these opportunities are volunteer and unpaid. Um, a lot of the internships available, they only reserve, uh, you know, spots for personal connections or whatever school you go to. Um, and then also, too, 25% of when, or I'm sorry, first-generation students never search or receive a internship because they don't even know that that is a possibility of something that they can do. Um, and so when Bioscience LA saw that, that uh, pain point, we realized that there was a way that we could help, especially being in LA County. Can you go to the next slide, please? So the opportunity that we saw, um, first, of, first and foremost, there's 120 plus colleges and universities in LA County alone. Um, and just imagine the, the amount of possibilities, innovation, ideas, thoughts that come from all of those those schools and universities. And then also 20% of the California Life Sciences jobs are in Los Angeles County. Um, that is a large amount um, when you think of the whole greater state of California. Um, and then also too, when you're looking at life science employment, like I said, going back to the slide with all the different possibilities, as you can see, this is a growing sector um, for employment and for startups and for innovation. Um, and so why not you know, expose our students um, to these opportunities because it's such a growing sector. Let's go to the next slide, please. So program uh, background. So the Biofutures Internship Program was created in 2021 uh, by Bioscience LA. Um, and it's actually funded um, by LA County Second District. We were funded a million dollars from them. Um, and what that does is that essentially allows us to uh, essentially reimburse companies that take on interns of ours um, for the amount that they've paid those interns. So there's a benefit for you as an intern, and there's also a benefit for a small business or startup here in LA within life sciences to take on a biofutures intern. Um, so our program was, was created to connect students with, from historically underrepresented backgrounds with subsidized internships and career development programming, getting your foot in the door, um, and also helping to expose you into the industry and the ecosystem in LA. The program is year round. Um, and what that means is you can apply at any point, you can um, get an internship at any point. We base our internships off of semesters, but you as an intern can take on more than one internship at one point. 
Um, I actually have had a couple of our students that have taken on internships for an entire year. Um, but we'll talk a little bit later about that. Um, it must be within LA Life Sciences and Health Innovation, um, including biotech, medtech, digital health. Uh, I've also been trying to procure some clean beauty, cosmetic formulation companies, as well as food tech, as well as composting, sustainability. Um, those are all within life sciences. Uh, and then the internships for us, they're all paid. We don't do unpaid internships over here. Um, the internships can be part-time, below part-time, or full-time. It's based off of what you're available for and what the company's looking for. Um, and we pay at least $20 an hour or more. Um, we actually changed this rate in July because of the um, increase of the minimum wage um, in Los Angeles. Um, the internships can be technical or non-technical. Um, at the end of the day, these companies, yes, they are life sciences, but they're businesses. And if you have a business, you need to be able to run your business. And that means uh, marketing. That also means operations, manufacturing. It also means business development. Um, so what I've done, and being that I am a non-science major, well, I keep saying that, but I kind of am now, um, I actually reached out to a lot of students who are non-science majors to get them into the pool because I have a lot of companies that are looking for marketing interns, social media interns to help them run, uh, you know, operations and logistics within their company. Um, so I say that to say you do not have to have prior experience in order to apply for our program. Um, the idea is that we want to get you the experience that you will need and be able to uh, utilize within your career. Um, and you don't have to have prior work experience as well. Um, I just always like to tell students, if you don't have prior work experience, you still need to do a resume. But what you will do is you're going to pull from your experiences at school, whether you're a uh, officer, you know, on board at a, 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 a like a school club, or you've won awards, or you've gone, um, you know, over and beyond and done reports or anything that has been published. You need to put those experiences into your resume um, because, yes, you may not have work experience, but employers are still looking at those things. And I also point that out to them to show that you have responsibility, that you're able to take on a project, that you're able to complete a project. Those are the things that they're looking to see if you're going to be um, the right intern for them. So please don't ever discount um, all of those uh, amazing activities that you may be doing in school or volunteer opportunities that you may be doing outside of school. Let's go to the next slide. So placement. Um, so I like to just show this so you guys have an idea of, you know, how many companies are looking for people? What are they exactly doing? Um, you know, how many students have been placed? So um, as of now, since 2021, uh, we've had 59 students and that actually has grown this week. Um, I think to about 65 students um, that have been placed into internships with companies that have signed up with us. Um, we have about 115 plus companies right now in our database that are still seeking interns. Uh, most of them, uh, and not most of them, but almost all of them are asking for more than one intern at a time. Um, so there's still uh, availability um, for you to still sign up and get an internship potentially this year or going into the winter. Um, you see the little graph at the top. That's just showing you the different categories of the companies and the industries that they're in. Um, again, like I said, I... Um, have a variety of different companies that are in this system and the way that we match you and the companies and I'll explain a little bit more um, on, a, on a later slide is based off of kind of your application so on your application we ask you what are you interested in and the companies let us know what they need um, and that is kind of how we do the matching so we are never ever in a situation where you're you know entering somewhere where you don't want to work or an industry you don't want to um, to get information in. And then this map here is kind of talking about what I said earlier about the LA region. Um, this is just showcasing to you where biotech is in Los Angeles. And then also, um, these are where a lot of our students are coming from in our database as well. Um, and this is going to continue to keep growing. And then most important highlight. So we've actually had six students who interned with us, and then they were hired on at the internship. Um, that is definitely not something that we guarantee. Um, but it organically happened, and we're really happy that it is, and that, keep, that number keeps growing. Um, and so that is something that, you know, we want you guys to realize is that there is a potential for you to take on, you know, a role after your internship based on the relationship that you build with the company that you're working for um, and, you know, potentially can help you with your future. So we're going to actually skip the slide, the next slide. It's a video. Um, I can send the, the link to you guys later. You can take a look at it, or you can go to our website 
to the bio teachers uh, page. And it's just essentially putting into words what I'm talking about the program and some of our students actually being interviewed uh, and some of our companies in being interviewed about Bioscience LA and uh, the bio teachers program. So we're gonna skip to the overview slide. So the overview slide you see here, it's a nice little graph map that I created to kind of explain the process of getting an internship, applying and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna start on the side of the students. So there's these lovely bright students that are interested in applying to the bio teachers internship program. They're gonna go ahead and apply uh, using this QR code. If you guys just gonna hint this out, I'm gonna have QR codes sprinkled out for the rest of the, the presentation. If you take out your phone and scan it, it will get you to the application for the bio teachers internship program. And you can go ahead and start applying before I get done with this presentation. Um, feel free to scan and just look over the application. But again, you will see these QR codes throughout the presentation for the rest of the time. Uh, so back to our overview. So students are gonna apply to the uh, bio teachers internship program using the application. Um, that application is going to be a, um, you know, basic information as well as there's gonna be short answers on there. Um, and then also you're gonna upload a resume and a cover letter as well. Um, you're also gonna indicate your availability and then also what you're interested in. After you've done that, you then um, are in the database. I am in the database every day. I look to see who the student applicants are. If you qualify with eligibility, then I go ahead and approve you and you're then in our database. And at that point, um, you're in the database and you're just essentially waiting for a company to reach out to you to offer an interview and then, um, and then potentially an internship offer. If that does not happen, you do not get banished out of the system, nothing crazy like that. Uh, you actually stay in the system as long as you want and you can actually reach out to me and update your profile at any point, whether that's you know, changing your resume out, if you've taken some more classes and you wanna add that to your short answers, um, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, if you do get an interview and then an offer, um, at that point, um, you will be working with that company. Uh, now on the company side, just so you guys are aware, um, a company who's interested in taking on an intern, they're gonna go ahead and fill out a company intake form that then goes into our database. I take a look at that form, validate to make sure that they're an actual legit company that works here in LA um, and that's within life sciences. Um, once that's been approved, they get access to the database that the students are in. And then they're searching the database for students that they're looking for for internships. I also step in and help and do intern matching um, based off of their needs. Um, and then also what they'll do is they'll reach out to the students for interview. If they enjoy you know, the interview and it goes well, they're gonna offer that student internship offer. If it doesn't go well or it, it's not a good fit, no worries. The company's gonna keep searching and keep reaching out to me to help them find the right uh, intern. Okay, any questions in regards to this page right here? I know I'm, I'm throwing a lot at, out at you guys, but I definitely wanna stop and see if anybody has questions. There was a question, um, it's by Joanne. Is there a unit or GPA requirement? No, no GPA requirement, no no unit requirement. The only thing um, that we ask is that you must be 18 and over. You must have at least one semester of college under your belt. Even if that one semester was one class, it's one semester of college under your belt. Um, we only ask for transcripts or anything like that, uh, just for proof of enrollment. So we at no point are looking at your GPA. The companies cannot look at that information. That's just for us to keep for our records to make sure that you are a student that goes to school in LA. Very good question. Any other questions? Yeah, there's another question by Nima. Um, is there an internship for nursing students? Uh, no. So we don't really work with like clinical healthcare providers. Um, we mo mostly work with companies within med tech, uh, medical devices, um, digital health, startups. Um, we have, may have some companies that have some indirect um, kind of experience with nursing, but we don't necessarily uh, provide internships for nursing students or pre-med students. Um, but we do have lots of students that have those degrees that still take on internships and they're able to still you know, learn skills um, in a different setting. Uh, Any other questions? 
Yeah, we have one more question. Hey, Deborah, uh, pleasure that you're here. Uh, question is, would the first semester requirement include dual enrollment for a high school senior? Um, no. So that high school senior would not be able to apply until after that first semester of college outside of high school. I hope that answered that question. Any other questions? There's one other question uh, from Grace. Um, she's saying that she took a summer class um, as a requirement for college. I, I'm assuming it was mm -hmm. the summer before she became a freshman. Um, she's asking if that can count as well. So one semester of summer courses. Um, it would depend on if she's going to be taking courses the, in, in college the next semester. Okay. Okay. So, so essentially if you're, uh, if you're in high school and you are taking a course before, like a, a course before going to your first initial semester, you wouldn't necessarily qualify. Um, we would want you to one, at least be out of high school. Um, and then two, do a, like a semester at a college or university. Um, and then you would be able to apply. Um, a lot of this is just for, for us. We want to make sure that we are not putting too much on a student who's newly going into college um, and then also trying to take on an internship. That's just a lot. Um, and it's just kind of a safeguard for you. And then also, too, we, we don't want the companies expecting you or putting expectations on you that they should not be putting on you as an intern. Any other questions? I think that uh, I know Joanne said okay. at SMC we have 18 year old students who are now in college and not in high school. However, they took college level courses with college students. So, yeah, that that wouldn't count. Okay. Yeah, you would need to you would need to be fully like enrolled into a college okay. and taking you know taking your first semester. Um, and again, like I said, it's just to safeguard the high school students. We are, when you are brought on as an intern, you're going to be working for that company. And just for, uh, you know, paperwork and employee relations, employment, paperwork, um, having a high school student just makes it a little bit harder for us to do the reimbursement and all of that stuff. Um, so that is why we have the 18 plus and at least one semester of college, um, meaning that you're enrolled in the college, you've taken a, a full semester. Um, that is our kind of our parameters for eligibility. Okay. Thank you. I think those okay. are all of our questions. We can go ahead and move forward. And go back. Perfect. Okay. We're going to jump to the program benefits slide. Okay. So I like to highlight the program benefits um, just so you know, you know, why am I doing this? Aside from just getting that paid internship, why would I want to sign up for this program? So first and foremost, the program is free to, to apply. Um, when you apply at any point, um, you are in the system and you can get an internship at any point. So that, I'll just say that. Um, you're going to gain further insight into the life sciences um, ecosystem in LA. Um, and this is something that I've had to, to grow to learn um, as a professional is that, yes, you can go and apply for a job, which is great, but there's also a level to, um, you know, a part of your career, which is networking and getting to know people within the industry, especially if you think that you're going to have longevity within an industry. Um, and so we basically give you those opportunities prior to you graduating from college. Um, so that way you have your, your, your kind of your mentors, you know who's who, and that helps you to navigate the space within the ecosystem a little bit better for careers and whatever it is that your goals that you have. A paid internship, that's also a great benefit. I mean, who doesn't like to get paid? Um, we also have over eight plus hours of career development programming. Um, so like I stated, we're not just an internship program. We also want to make sure you guys leave better than you came. So I have um, the career development program that I've created as well as other program that we provide, which includes and not limited to LinkedIn refreshes, resume refreshes, um, interviewing skills workplace uh, skills, things like that, that that you are going to need, but you're not going to learn necessarily in the classroom um, for your career. There's also regular group 
outings and activities around LA, um, which include games. We actually just recently, this summer, went to the Angel City football club game, um, as well as we had a beach day um, and many activities like that we're going to be doing more of. Um, and then also exclusive invites to our um, bio innovation networking events. So Bioscience LA, not only are we a nonprofit, um, but we also host a lot of different events, including LA Biotech Week and LA MedTech Week. Um, so if you're someone who's really trying to get into this industry, those are really great networking opportunities for you to meet people within this industry um, and also just learn a little bit more about what's going on in the industry. It's always good to know, you know, what's going on. And then also uh, the benefit of being a part of the BioFutures Internship um, Alumni Program, which is essentially all the students that were past interns, um, you're still a part of the family. We still help you with your goals or whatever it is that you're trying to do with them like sciences. Um, so essentially you're never, you know, away from us. You're still an extended part of the family. Let's go ahead and go to the next slide. The eligibility requirements, again, 18 plus college student with at least one completed semester at an LA area college, university are eligible uh, to apply. Priority, so as I mentioned this, for our grants and our programming, we um, give priority community college students. Um, and that is because that group a lot of times is missed out when it comes to internships. Doesn't mean if you're a four-year university student, we won't take you. It's just that if I have applications of a four-year university student versus a community college student, I'm going to look at that community college student application first and put them in the database first uh, over the four-year university student. Um, students have to, um, or who have not previously had internship experience, you get priority, like I said, doesn't matter if you've never worked or had work experience. Um, committed to remaining and working in LA, I will just tell you this right now, I am not going and hunting down students after they leave. Uh, our program if they do move from LA. But the idea of this program is to increase the employee pipeline um, within life sciences in Los Angeles. So ideally we would love for you to stay and work here after you graduate. And then students from underrepresented backgrounds defined as the following, um, get priority as well, because like I said, going back to the mission, we're trying to increase the diversity within this uh, field as we'll give opportunities to those who don't know and get them. And I will just point out again, you will see more QR codes. Please scan them if you're interested in applying. Let's go to the next slide. Application overview. So this is just, I like to just show this slide just so you kind of see, well, what am I, like, how am I applying? What does that look like? Is it a difficult application? It's not, it's really easy. Um, matter of fact, I would just suggest that if you guys are applying for scholarships and applying for different programming, you need to have like a little note that you create on your computer or just in your phone that basically has answers to all of these like basic short answer questions. So that way you're not having to reinvent the wheel each and every time. That's just a little tip. Um, but the application essentially is a basic, you're gonna do basic uh, demographic information. Um, so age, education, school, all that stuff. Resume and uh, any previous work experience, like I stated, you're gonna make sure that if you don't have work experience, you're gonna use your transferable skills and volunteer work that you may have done at school. Um, you're gonna click your areas of interest. I always like to state this because I feel like sometimes as students, especially overachievers, I'm one of those overachievers as well. Um, we think that in order for us to get the opportunity, we have to like be open to everything. I will just say this, if you are not interested in biotech and pharma or you know med tech or whatever, choose what you're interested in. Don't think that you have to pick everything in order for you to get picked because that's not how this works. We try to make sure we match it the best uh, way that we can based off of your interest and what the company is looking for to make sure that's a good experience. Same thing when it comes to availability, please choose what you're actually available for. If you're not available for full-time, do not put that you're available for everything. Um, again, we try to make sure we base it off of availability and not off of just, hey, I think I'm gonna get a better chance. Then also your desired internship role, if you're interested in all of the different roles that we have here, um, please click all of them. But if you're not, again, do not choose things that you're not interested in. Um, you don't need to do that in order to get chosen. And then short answer questions, make sure you fill those out completely uh, with as much information as you can. Um, letting the company know who you are, what you do, what you like. For example, if you maybe have a side business 
where you're doing, I don't know, lawn, you're cutting lawn, put that in there. Um, if you're someone who's interested in robots, put that in there. If you're interested in, um, you know, becoming a nurse, put that in there as well. All of those little key points really help to kind of build your career story of who you are and what you're interested in. And you never know, there may be a company that's like, hey, I'm looking for somebody like that. Um, so please make sure you complete the short answer question to your best of your ability. We're going to go to the next slide. So BioTeachers Alumni Program, like I said, it's a new program that I started um, with when I started the team or when I started uh, my position this year. And essentially, it's just an extended connection within a bioscience LA team, a network, um, and we're still building this out. And essentially, like, one of the things that you can do would be being able to come to our, you know, events. Um, and then I'll give you another example. We have one of our BioFuture students who, he actually came back this year. He's getting another internship. Um, he just transferred to UC Riverside. And he's actually going to be our MC for one of our forums that we're doing next week. Um, with LA County. So those are the types of opportunities you can get um, being an alum with us and just sticking it out with us and you know letting us know how you're doing and if you need help. Because at the end of the day, I'm here to make sure that you know all of our students are successful and, and have success and always have the, to the tools and the resources that they need to keep moving forward. And let's skip to slide where it says next steps actually. So next step, apply today. You guys have been inundated with QR codes, so I hope you have at least scanned the code on one of these slides. Um, if you need more information, reach out to me. Um, I'll gladly give you more information. Um, and then also let me know if you think I should be talking to someone else, uh, any groups or any programs that you're a part of. Um, and then also uh, follow us on our social media platforms um, at Bioscience LA, Facebook, and um, LinkedIn for the same um, profile. And then um, I would just say once you apply, keep your BioFutures profiles updated um, as much as you can. Share us with your network. And then I also want to just mention our upcoming event. So starting today, we have LA Biotech Week um, that uh, we have like literally 10 to 20 different events going on for the next two weeks within Biotech. Um, please go to our website. If you're interested in anything, please uh, go ahead and RSVP and register. There's also our fall mixer that is hosted by BioFutures happening next Wednesday from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, if you're interested, please feel free to, to reach out and RSVP. We're inviting educators, students, as well as students in the database, as well as um, companies that are looking for interns. It's going to be a good time, fall themed. Um, so please come through if you guys would like. Um, and then uh, we'll go to the next slide. And thank you guys so much for listening to me. And again, like I said, I apologize. I couldn't, you couldn't see my face, um, but feel free to please reach out to me if you guys need anything, um, have any questions. Um, and it was a pleasure presenting to you guys today. Thank you, Janae. Um, so we'll definitely share this slide deck with everyone here. Um, so you have Janae's information and the QR codes in case you're interested in. Um, in applying to the program. Uh, so if you have any questions, okay, we, we have a question here. Um, let's see. Nima, you can go ahead and unmute if you'd like to ask uh, Janae a question or, or any of us. Um, yeah, hi. Um, so I'm a nursing student and I know uh, you kind of spoke about it, but uh, I was wondering, does bio, bio uh, the futures um have any internship for students such as I that would would be helpful in any sort of way that would give us any sort of experience that we could apply for thank you for your question so um Janae were you able to catch that you're muted I don't know if um you can hear us Janae? Okay, sorry, yes, hi. Yes, so to answer that question, 
honestly, yes, any of our positions that we have will be great to any type of career or any type of work experience that you're trying to gain. In regard to specifically for nursing, I would say probably not. Um, our roles that we have, if you go back to the slide that shows like the desired roles, um, they're all within, like I said, kind of like working within a business or a startup. And essentially working in these roles, you're, you, there may be a subject within biotech or med tech, but there's no interfacing with patients or any clinical healthcare um, type roles. It would be more administrative or software development, maybe some lab research assistant type work. Um, but I'm not for sure if that would be the best for you and the experience that you're trying to gain. Thank you, Janae. Mm -hmm. Do we have any, any other, other questions? Yeah. <laughs> Do we have any other questions? I know Joanne had a follow up in terms of um, enrollment students from SMC. So I'll mm -hmm. connect to you, Janae, with her uh, in an email because yeah. there's some contact. Yeah, definitely. Um, yes, yes, yes. Definitely reach out to me. Always love to talk about SMC for sure. Right, you're an SMC alum. <laughs> Yes, proud and also former former cheer captain as well. So oh. super, super, uh, <laughs> super um, spirit for for SMC for sure. That's that's good to know. So if we don't have any other questions, I think we're all set, Janae. Um, like I said, we'll be sharing the slides with everyone um, and the recording as well. Um, so thank you awesome. again, Janae. We really appreciate your time uh, in educating all of us about this wonderful program. Um, thank you, everyone, to it, who attended and uh, was here to learn more about Janae and the BioFutures. Thank you, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. You too, Janae. Bye-bye.